Hey everybody, it's Christopher here with 3DO Gaming, and today I actually have my Game Boy Advance here in front of me because we're actually going to be playing a game that came out for the Game Boy Advance 18 years ago, and we're going to be playing it on the Retroid Pocket 2. And I just want to show real quick size-wise how close the Game Boy Advance and the Retroid Pocket 2 are. So they're very similar in size. But the game we're going to be playing that came out on the Game Boy Advance 18 years ago is the Game & Watch Gallery Advance. And the reason I'm selecting this game today is today there actually is a new system launching. And no, I know yesterday was PlayStation 5, but Nintendo actually is launching a new handheld to the Game & Watch Gallery again. So I'll be picking that up and you'll be seeing some videos on that too in the near future once I have that available. But I wanted to go ahead and play the Game & Watch Gallery on the Game Boy Advance emulator. I'm using RetroArch. That's pre-installed on the device. So let's go ahead and load up that game. Okay. Let's see. We have on this one, you got Mario Cement Factory, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3. There's six games on here. Fire, Boxing, and Rain Shower. Let's try Rain Shower. I have no idea what Rain Shower is. And that's not the right button. That's the right button there. Shake the rope to keep the falling water balloons from hitting the hanging characters in the head. Pay attention to where everyone is hanging. So the Game & Watch Gallery is a bunch of smaller games. <clears throat> the one for the Advance is a 6-in-1 pack. There are a few that came, I think three, that came out prior. One was a Game Boy only game. Uh, the other two I think were Game Boy Color. But the Game & Watch series itself came out years ago. It was um, the old LCD style handhelds, had a couple games on it there and wasn't too expensive. And there's just a lot of pattern to this. But after this, I'm gonna go ahead and... All right. Let's go ahead and try another one. No. Exit. Go ahead and 
restart the game. All right, let's try Donkey Kong Jr. There we go. I jumped over him. See the classic version, how different it is. There you go. This is how Game & Watch used to look. If you remember those games that I used to have, uh, Tiger came out with a bunch of games like this, if you remember. <laughs> I had the X-Men one, I think there was a wrestling one I had before. <laughs> so, this is the old Game & Watch. The new one that's coming out, the new console, it is going to look... They're going to have a couple games like this on there, but they're also going to have modern stuff like you just saw. <clears throat> but that comes out today, and I'll have a link in the description below for Amazon, so hopefully they have it available for purchasing today, but I'll put up the link on there for you. But this is the Game & Watch Gallery Advance for the Game Boy Advance. Um, it, it's available for also the Wii U, um, I believe through their virtual store. Um, but other than that... It, there's a couple other games that came up from the Game Watch series, and I'll put some information below if you want to take a look at it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you're getting uh, the Game Watch Gallery, I hope you enjoy it. If you already got the PlayStation 5 yesterday, enjoy it. Or a couple days ago, if you did pick up the Xbox One, a Series X or Series S, have fun with that as well. But thanks for watching. Take care.